Hello and welcome to Naturally Timeless Photography. My name is Rich and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the very basic beginning of adding photos to your Luminar Neo catalog. So to do that we start off here in the catalog section which is located at the top of the screen here. If you're not there already you just left click on that and it'll bring up this dialog. Now we come over to add photos. Just left click that. Now to add one photo or add a photo, um, a folder, it'd be pretty much the same thing, except you add one fo um, photo rather than the whole folder. But I'm gonna be adding a complete file or a complete folder today. So I'm just gonna left click that. It opens up this. I'm going to go to desktop because that's where I keep my photos. Now you would go to where you have your um, photos saved. Me, I have them in photography. So I double click that. Then I have them under pictures and then I have them under this and then I have them listed by year. So I, you just keep clicking until you get to where you have yours located. Mine are under a multiple um, subcategories. Um, then I go to travel, then I go to raw. And then I go to the second day of my trip. So I'm gonna left click that and then select folder. And that is all there is to it. It's just a series of clicks and clicks until you get to the section where you have your file located. Now, once you're here, you can select a photo. We're gonna go over to the second photo. See, the first one has the blue lines or a circle around it. We can then go to here left click that the blue highlight comes up and then we could either go to preset which I prefer not to use some people do but I prefer to edit my photos 100% um, on my own so then I would just go to the edit section and that gives me all these capable um, you know editing tools that are here now within Neo we have a lot of artificial intelligence um, editing things so I typically don't use them as much um, I will play with them some of them are too invasive for me I like to edit my photos myself and keep them as natural as possible um, and as artistic as possible I don't like giving a program you know the ability to make my art for me I like doing it myself so if you do see an AI next to it you know, feel free to go through it. There are some cool little things there, but overall, I personally stick with the stuff that doesn't have AI next to it. All right, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this tutorial was helpful if you're just starting out with Luminar Neo.